beekeeper opens the hive for the last time this year. The family of bees has worked the hardest. It has made more than 20 kilos of honey for the Arzumanyans. Breeding bees is profitable. Honey is the most expensive food product after black caviar. In the past, a kilo of honey cost as much as two kilos of lard. Abgar's father, Yasha, as well as his grandfather, were also beekeepers. Ever since immigrating from Shamkhor, Azerbaijan, to the village of Khachardzan, in Armenia's Tavush region, their large family has made a living by producing honey. We've been here since 1988. We had beehives back in Shamkhor, too, before we became refugees. We had 40 beehives, but couldn't take them with us. So we left with nothing, but then we're able to obtain 10 beehives from a Turk. The colorful beehives keep proliferating across the family's orchard. The Arzumanyans now have 50 bee colonies. In the beginning, Abgar couldn't get near the beehives. It was Mrs. Varinka who took care of the bees. I was allergic. But eventually, I ate so much honey that my allergy was gone. It was a miracle, considering the slightest contact with honey could take me to death's door. Bees don't require much work. Instead, they demand to be treated gently and with respect. Bees are very sensitive. You can't make any sudden movements or approach the hive after you've had any alcohol. You make a sudden poke, and they'll attack you. You need to be extremely careful. Beekeeping is a growing industry in Kachadzan. With the financial support of the Kalchion family of Argentina, the Hayastan All Armenian Fund has provided a total of 50 beehives to the villagers. These polystyrene beehives have reached us through the support of our benefactor, Mr. Kalchion. 50 of them were distributed to the village. I received four. As you see, they're all buzzing with bees. Mr. Kalchion has been of invaluable help to us. The Hayastan All Armenian Fund has promised the villagers 200 additional beehives. Abgar is trying to decide where to install the new bee colony. Bees like to be in a dry and sunny place. They don't like humidity and the wind. You've got to treat them with extreme tenderness and care. This is the most precious corner of the Arzumanyan's home. They have obtained 15 barrels of honey from their bees. Half the yield is already gone. They have sold so much of it and distributed the rest to relatives. And there's some kept especially for their benefactors, the Kalchion family. This is the most reliable method. Abgar tests the quality of the honey in front of the customer. We all know that when you burn sugar, it turns black and crystallizes, whereas honey doesn't. Now I'll hold the spoon under the water and you'll see whether the honey is washed off or sticks to the spoon. If it sticks, then there's sugar in it. Abgar's honey is as honest as his words. Just ask his mother, Jasmine, whose heart was healed by bees. My heart used to go boom, boom, boom. I was tired of taking all those medications, but now I take none at all. I just mix some honey and water and drink it. After doing this for two months, my heart has completely healed. No more palpitations. Now Grandma Jasmine's heart throbs only with joy. When, for instance, she sits at the dinner table with her grandchildren and great-grandchildren. She has 12 great-grandchildren, each with a beehive named after them. For the 80-year-old grandmother, who has had a hard life, this is, indeed, a sweet autumn.